Hi friends, it's Tim Pantle, the adopt a dog Realtor. In today's episode of Rescue Me, I'm going to talk a little bit about what you should do if you've lost your dog. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to help find your dog and also give you a few tips on what not to do or what people do wrong when their dog is lost. Let's start with the three biggest mistakes most people make when their dog is lost. Number one, they wait for their dog to come home. It's very rare if your dog gets out of your yard that they end up coming back on their own. Most of the times they're picked up by a neighbor or good Samaritan. Number two, not checking the local shelter's websites at least once every two or three days. It could take a week or even a month before your dog shows up at a local shelter. Number three, giving up the search too soon. Don't get frustrated. Persistence is what will get your dog home. Your dog's personality could determine how far away they run. A friendlier dog is probably going to get picked up by a neighbor or good Samaritan a lot sooner than a dog that is a little skittish and doesn't like people. Also, if your dog is just wanting to get out of the yard and explore, they're probably going to be closer to your house. But if they're scared because of a thunderstorm or fireworks, they may run farther away. So keep that in mind when you're putting posters and things out. The two most important factors in getting your dog home are searching and marketing. In most cases, you're not actually looking for the dog, you're looking for the person that picked up your dog. Here are the seven steps that you should take if you've lost your dog. If your dog was recently lost within the hour or so, get in your car, drive around, and be sure and ask everyone you see if they've seen your dog somewhere in the neighborhood. Step two, use Craigslist and other online resources to find your dog. Craigslist and Facebook are usually the two first places people post pictures of dogs that are missing. Other useful sites are things like Nextdoor. Facebook often has neighborhood sites. There's actually a few sites on Facebook just for lost pets. One of those is Sacramento Lost Dogs. Step three, check your local shelter's websites at least every three days and be sure and check all of their websites. In our area, we have a city shelter, a county shelter, and the SPCA. Those websites will be linked below so you'll have easy access to those. Step four, make a lost poster. Don't do a paper flyer. Those are too small for passing cars to see. Go to Staples or Office Depot and get the large fluorescent poster boards and make a large poster with a picture of your dog, the date it was lost, a description and contact information for you. Step five, if your dog was microchipped, call the microchip company and update your information. If your dog is picked up by a shelter or brought to a local veterinary clinic, chances are they're going to scan the dog for the microchip. And if the microchip's information is outdated, they won't be able to contact you. Step six, use Finding Rover. Finding Rover is a great website. You can upload a picture of your dog and this site will use facial recognition, scan the local shelter's websites, and see if they can find a match between the picture that you put in the site and the dogs at the shelter. I still encourage you to search on your own and be sure and check those shelters every three days, but finding Rover may help streamline that process. And step seven, be patient. Don't give up your search. Again, it may take weeks or months before your dog show up in a shelter. The longer you search, the more patient you are, the better chance your dog will have of coming home to you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope there's lots of useful information for you. Again, there'll be lots of links and more information below the video. Again, I'm Tim Pantle, the Adopt a Dog Realtor. I hope you never have to use this information, but if you do, I hope you find it helpful in getting your dog home. Have a great day.